Have you been studying recently? Yes, every day. I Good. Did, I did more today. I, I knocked off a start to knock off some levels in uh, Duolingo about it after, in Castle too. Whenever you've got some time, some days off like today, let me know and maybe we can start the lesson earlier, early on. So, yeah. Okay. Um, so, what castle are you at right now? Like, did you pass the. I'm in, I'm in, I, I just finished Castle One. I just started working on Castle Two. Okay, good. My, my brain's been a, burnt, a little bit burnt out the last few days. So, but I'm trying to knock out. Yeah. One. Uh, I understand. I understand. I, I think that, yeah, like, um, it's okay to, to just have a break, like, one week every four weeks, like, no English or no Spanish whatsoever. It happens to me as well. Like, when I'm reading about something every day, every day, every day, and then, I, like, every three or four weeks, I need to take, like, like a week off that, that skill, that thing that I am learning so I can get back to normal again and, and keep learning new stuff. I want to keep my streak going. Nice. So uh, let's do this one then. So how do you say where's the airport? Uh, Dante S. El Aeroporto. So since we're speaking about that location, it would be Donde Esta. Donde Esta. El Aeropuerto. So let's do it again. Donde Esta El Aeropuerto. Uh, Dante Esta El aeropuerto. Aeropuerto. El, el aeropuerto. Yeah, so remember that one of the biggest deals regarding pronunciation in Spanish really? is the vowels. Like okay. especially when you find when you find two or three words, three or two or three vowels together, that's especially in those case scenarios. You must pay attention to pronouncing each one of the vowels when reading the word or saying it aloud. Okay. So let's do this one pronunciation. Tu estás. Tu estás. Viajando. 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 A Italia. A Italia. O Alemania. O Alemania. Yeah, so how do you translate this? Are you going to visit Italy or Germany? Are you traveling? Oh, traveling, okay. Are you traveling to Italy or Germany? Yes. So, okay, let's do the next one. So, I wake up at 5 a.m. How do you say this in Spanish? So, uh, Joe, uh, Joe, mm -hmm. uh, des, despertos? Eh, me despierto. Me, okay. I get a different word. Joe, may despertar. Oh, so, so I'm going to show you something. So despertar. Despertar. So despertarse is the verb in infinitive. Yeah. But whenever you see a verb that ends in se, that means the verb is reflex. It, the verb is a reflexive one. Okay. What that means is that, for example, if you're going to conjugate it with I, with a pronoun I, every time you, you've got to say yo me. So I'm going to show you what the reflexive part is of each one of the pronouns. So for example, if you see any verb that ends in S-E, that means that uh, it's reflexive. So reflexive, okay. reflexive. So the conjugation, like the reflexive part, which is S-E at the end of that verb, is going to be yo me. So it's going to be the, okay. second word, the word after the after the pronoun, tu te, ella, el, or eso, se, se, uh, nos, 
So nodes would be the reflexive part, and um, they it would be edges C. Okay. Yeah. So this is something to keep in mind. Uh, I don't think I have told you this, but definitely it's something that you need to memorize. Yeah. The, the, the reflexive part of each one of the pronouns when you find, when you run into a reflexive verb, so you can know that these words are going to be in between the pronoun and the verb. All right. Okay, so let me just erase this and uh, let's continue. So, yo, so that is why we say yo me despierto, okay. not only the verb, but with the reflexive part, which is in between the verb and the pronoun. All right. So, pronunciation, yo me, yo me despierto, despierto, a las, a las, cinco, cinco, a m, a m, a m, a m. Yes, good. Okay, the next one is pronunciation. Mi amigo Peter. Mi amigo Peter. Está trabajando. Está trabajando. En África. En África. Ahora mismo. Ahora mismo. Ahora. Ahora. Mismo. Mismo. Yes. So, how, how do you translate this? My friend Peter is working in Africa right now. Perfect! My friend Peter is working uh, in Africa right now. Perfect. That was just perfect. Um, my friend Peter is working in Africa right now. Good. Um, let's do this one. Are they speaking French or Italian right now? How do you say this in Spanish? Ellos. Ellos. So if it's a group, if it's a group of men or women and men, it would yeah. be ages. But if it's only it women. You would say ellas. Ellas, yeah. So ellos. Ah. Uh, so labels. Están. Están. Okay, sorry. Hablando. Hablando. French. France. Uh, Francis. Francis. Fran Yes, Francis, or Italian right now. Oh, Italian. Italiano. Uh, Italia. Ahora mismo. O oh, Italiano ahora mismo. Ahora mismo. Yeah, so again, ellos están hablando. Ellos están hablando. Francis. Francis. O oh, Italiano. O oh, Italiano. Ahora mismo. Ahora mismo. Good. Eh, so, this one, pronunciation. ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? El aeropuerto. El aeropuerto. Aero. El aeropuerto. Yes. Más grande. Más grande. En Asia. En Asia. Yeah, so, how do you translate this? Where is the biggest airport in Asia? Perfect. Where is the biggest airport in Asia? In Asia. Nice. You know, and this unit that we're doing right now, yeah. this is this belongs to the third castle, I think. This, yeah. this, this belongs to the third castle. And it's and not only that, but it's of the fifth level. Mm. I think this is the fifth level, and you're doing great. Oh, thanks. So let's do this one. I only have one back. Uh, Joe Tango. Yeah. So only what? What would it only be? Oh. Uh, 
solo. Solo tengo. Yo solo tengo. Uh -huh. Un. Uh, un. Pelejo. Peleto. Un bolso. So. There is something tricky about the translation of these words. So remember that bolso would be as in a woman's purse. Yeah. But but like a fancy one sort of thing. But but if you say una bolsa, the feminine one, it would sound as a as like a plastic bag or like a paper bag, like the ones that you're given at a supermarket. Okay. So Keep that in mind. Um, so let's do this one. Pronunciation. Ellas están. Ellas están. Cenando. Cenando. En un. En un. Restaurante. Es restaurante. Alemán. Alemán. Ahora mismo. Ahora mismo. Yeah, good. So um, what's this in English? Uh, they are eating dinner mm -hmm. at a German restaurant right now. Uh, dinner. Dinner is it with double N? I forget. Um, yeah, yeah. Din there's two or two ends. Yeah, dinner. They are eating dinner. Uh, what did you say? They are eating dinner at a German restaurant right now. German restaurant right now. Perfect. Yes. Good. Um, so this one, my brother often often flies to Japan. Mi hermano. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what is often? I forgot that one. Oh. So you can either say a menudo or you can also say seguido. Okay. Yeah, like as a matter of fact, here in Colombia, we say seguido. We never say a menudo. Okay. Mi hermano seguido. Like, but seguido would sound more natural to say at the end. Like, okay. flies to Japan often. So let's leave it at the end. So, mi hermano. Mi fly. hermano. Uh, menudo, menudo, menudo. Well, so let's leave a menudo or seguido okay. at the end. Okay. Um, so, vuela. Bule, bu, bulera. Vuela. Vuela. Yes, to Japan often. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh, Nippon. Japón. Japón. Uh, menudo. Or say, yeah. say who, say. Seguito. Seguito. Yes. Um, no, yeah. The, keep that in mind. Like, this is the way that would sound more natural okay. in Colombian Spanish. Um, we would not say a menu. I mean, like, it's not incorrect, but it wouldn't sound natural. Like, no one ever says that. Yeah. So, yeah, let's see this. Yeah. Good. I thought Duolingo was going to, yeah. to, to say it was wrong. So, but no, it's okay. So, let's do this one. Por favor. Por favor. Deja. Deja. El lapis. El lapis. How do you translate this? Please. Yeah. Uh, they have. Please have. Or please. No. Please leave. Uh -huh. Please leave uh, um, in peace. Please leave the pencil. Oh, please leave the pencil. Okay. 
Yes. Uh, okay, so let's do it again in Spanish, por favor. Por favor. Deja. Deja. El lápiz. El lápiz. Nice. This one, he's not helping me. El. Yeah. Adujo. Él no está. Él no está. What is help? Adujo. Ayudando. So um, you see, ayudar. So the infinitive of help yeah. is ayudar. Yeah. But ing is either ando or okay. endo. Okay. And then you 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 put together the me part in Spanish. So yeah. uh, let's do it again. El no está ayudándome. El no el no está a do and damo damo dame. Once again, ayudan. Aduam. Aju. Aju. Dándome. Aju dándome. Yes, good. Um, are you going to write this one down? I remember those words, so. Okay. It's more so you learn the verb congregations. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's that 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 happens over time. Yeah. You just need to pay attention to the way you're conjugating them and yeah. eventually you get the hang of it. Um, as a matter of fact, there is something else that uh, I'm going to share with you. I don't know. Yeah, we have talked about tiny cards, haven't we? Yes. Uh, so please remind me this week or when we're done with the lesson, when, when we hang up, to send yeah. you my username, which I think you've already got. Yeah. But if you have got it, I can send you my username. I do a lingo username with a password. So you can sign in to my tiny cards. Why my username? Because it's it's less of a hassle to just to just signing in to my account and use and and practice with the vocabulary that I have already pinned on my profile. So you see that pinned dex. Yeah. Well, just, just oh. send me the dex. I have a problem. I I, give, I, give, I have forgotten my password for a while, so I got to make a new one. But you send me the, the decks and I can use the same ones. That's the thing. There are too many decks to send. <laughs> okay. Well, you can send me, uh, just, um, well, send me the ones that are relevant to Spanish and just uh, mm -hmm. take pictures. I have the 100 words and I have the Duolingo yeah. Spanish. I have the HW questions. Well. Yeah. I mean, like, you can also follow me. Like, you can follow yeah. me. You can, you, can, you can look me up at Spanglish360. Yeah. And uh, um, you yeah, can have the at the at the decks that I have that yeah. I have shared and created. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean like that 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 can be quite helpful. Yeah. Um, I may follow you already, tiny cards. Just my eyes are a bit burnt out from working working on a computer screen all day. So that's uh one thing. Yeah. What you've got a Windows PC, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, I highly recommend that you download this application. Because I, I feel for you. I know yeah. how how like like the eye the eye yeah. strain. Um so let me show you this flux. Oh, yeah. This application can help you very much. You just okay. need to download it, install it, and uh, it'll reduce like it might turn your screen like instead of blue, it'll turn like kind of reddish. Yeah. Or orange. But that's why, because because the idea is that by having like a warm kind of, of screen colors usage, that way you can take care of your eyesight. And you will feel the difference. At the beginning, it, it might take a while for you to to get used to that color, but after one week, about after a week, you will feel way better. You will realize that your eyes aren't getting tired so much. And, and I know that you work on a PC, so this will help you a lot. Okay. And uh, there is also there is also night light on some devices. I'm not sure if your mobile phone phones got this feature. You just need to enable it. If, he, if your mobile phone hasn't got it, you just need to download it from the... Have we got an iPhone or an Android device? Okay. 
What what have you got? An Android device or an Apple device? I I got an Apple. So probably I'm not sure, but 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 I think that you might find some applications to do the same thing as this application Flux. So right. it'll help you reduce the bright of your screen. So you will see the difference. I'm telling you, yeah. like when I started using these filters on my my devices, I I like I can tell you that I get tired. 70% less in the same um, in the same period of time that I'm working on them. So it's, it's very, very useful. So let's do this one. So pronunciation, el viene. El viene. De los Estados Unidos. De los Estados Unidos. Yeah, how do you translate this? He travels to the United States. He comes. Okay. He comes from the United States. Okay. From the United. It's all these verbs about travel. I know which one. I know they're all relevant to traveling. I just know which which way they go. You know. Yeah. Now, the important the important thing about memorizing translations yeah. as much as you can and as accurate as you can is because it's because the more accurate you are in the yeah. translations yeah. Yeah. the better you're going to be at, at at being yourself in the language right because when when you don't know exactly or when when you're not that accurate in the translations and the use of language that's when when people cannot cannot actually be themselves in the language and that's what i like people to i would like all my students to achieve to be themselves in the language right so let's continue um they come from canada how do you say this in spanish ellos yes uh ellos vienen vienen uh, mm -hmm. De Canada? De Canada. Canada. Yes, good. Uh, por favor, pronunciation. Por favor. Pon. Pon. Tus maletas. Tus maletas. 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 Aquí. Aquí. Yes. So, um, how do you translate this? Please put your... Please put your uh, briefcase here. Briefcase here. I'm not sure about briefcase, but let's see. <laughs> your bags. Uh, Amalia's bags, or, yeah, like your suitcases. Is yeah. it the same to say suitcase and briefcase? Well, a briefcase is smaller. It's usually for like your work and paperwork. A suitcase is for like clothing. Okay, so the briefcase is like the square thingy. It's almost like a, it's almost like the size of a large book. It's what you would put your uh, your stuff for work, your paperwork. Okay. It's what you carry to the office. A briefcase. A suitcase is more uh, what you put on your clothes. I mean, I mean, so the the briefcase it hangs from your hand like it goes a, a handlebar kind of thing. It, and then... it has like a handle, yeah. Yeah, it's, okay. It's more of a square. It's, it's usually a harder case. Right. Yeah. 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 We would call that what? Um, trying to think. Briefcase. Briefcase. Let's see. Portafolio, probably. Let me just double check. Briefcase. Uh, maletín portafolio. That's how we would call it, portafolio. Okay. Okay. Uh, so this one, thirty million people. How do you say this in Spanish? Trente. Trenta. Trenta mil. Millones. Trenta mil millones. Yes. Personas. De personas. De personas. Yes, it's a person. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Um, so pronunciation, Antonio. Antonio. 
Vuela. Vuela. A Francia. A Francia. Todos los meses. Todos los meses. Yeah, so what's that in English? Antonio flies to France uh, every month. Every month. Perfect. Nice. Um, this one. She wakes up and takes a shower. Aja? Yes. Tay? Uh, so the reflexive word for Aja is say. Aja say. Mm -hmm. uh, Wakes up. Desper, despertarse, despierta, despierta. Yes. Yeah, so you will, you should say se despierta. You should use that conjugation for she, he, or it. Yeah. In present. Okay. And and takes a shower. Um. Tomar. He toma. He toma. Um. I forgot shower. <laughs> Un baño. Un baño. Okay, it's just like bathroom, different accent. Yeah, so let's do it again. Ella se despierta. Ella des despierta. Ella se. Ella se. Despierta. Despierta. Y toma. Y toma. Un baño. Un baño. Nice. Um, siéntate, pronunciation. Uh, siente, siente. Siéntate. Sienta, siéntate. Y desayuna. E desayuno. Y desayuna. Okay, once again. Desayuna. Desayuna. Desa. Desa. Juna. Desa Junia. Yes. So, how do you translate this? Uh, 60 or 70? 60 and 70. So, siéntate y sit down. Okay, I hope never sit down and eat breakfast. Yeah, and eat or have breakfast. Okay. So this is as in kind of making an invitation to someone, like, hey, sit down okay. and have breakfast. All right. So let's do it again in Spanish. Siéntate. Siéntate. Y. Y. Desayuna. Desayuna. Junior. Desa. Desa. Desayuna. Desayuna. Yeah, good. Okay, we're done for today, for tonight. You saw? Did you see that? It, this was the fifth level of the third castle. Yeah. I, oh, no, this is the second castle. But it was yeah. still the fifth level of adventure, so that's yeah. good. That's good. I think we, we, we're doing great. Yeah. So I'll talk to you on Saturday at the same time, right? Okay. Right. Okay, so talk to you. Have a great night. Okay, you too. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.